Let's write a C program to find factorial of a user entered positive integer number using recursive function. So what is a factorial? Factorial of a positive integer n denoted by n factorial is the product of all the positive integers less than or equal to n. So for example, 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 because product of all the positive integers less than or equal to 5. So the result will be 5 factorial is 120, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is 120. Also note that 0 factorial is 1. This is very important. Write this down on a piece of paper. If you miss this, you will miss the entire logic of this program. Okay. So 0 factorial is 1 and not 0. Also note that n factorial can be calculated using n into factorial of n minus 1. That is n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial. So write this down too. We will be using the same formula in our recursive function call. Okay. So let me show you a snippet of code. I'll show you the recursive function itself. Okay. This function is called from main and assume that user passes the value phi to this fact method. So phi is positive. So if true will be executed, that is code inside if block gets executed wherein we are using the same formula that is n into n minus 1 factorial okay so this is the line which gets executed we are passing n minus 1 so ultimately num value will be 0 at some point right so when num is 0 else block code gets executed and we are returning 1 because 0 factorial is 1 okay that would be returned to the calling function which would be obviously fact of zero okay so this is how our recursive function works to find logic for iterative ways follow the link present on your computer screen for recursive ways we have given the link for that too so follow that link present there so let's get started with our coding part it gets interesting while we start coding it i'll take a integer variable num and ask the user to enter a positive number to find its factorial. I'll store that user entered number inside the address of integer variable num. So let me write the printf statement and call fact method inside printf itself. So factorial of percentage %d is percentage %d. So the original number is present inside variable num and the result will be returned by method fact and we will be passing the user entered number to this function fact so let me define this method fact so fact should return an integer type data so its return type should be integer as well so let me copy the argument value to an integer variable as well so now let's write the recursive logic if num means if num is not equal to 0 or if num is greater than 0 once num is 0 this condition will be false so it's equal to writing if num in that case let me write the recursive call logic that is return num into fact of num minus 1 the same formula we are writing else i'll write the base condition that is return 1 when num is 0 because 0 factorial is 1 we know that already okay so that's it i guess this is the simple logic if you write 0 it will return 0 and the entire result will be 0 so don't do this mistake factorial 0 factorial is 1 and not 0 okay so be careful in writing this let me compile and execute it and check if our logic is working right i'll check for 5 factorial and it's 120 and it's correct okay let me show you how this actually works so let me copy this code and paste it here and assume that let's assume that user passed a value 5 to num that is he wants he or she wants to know the factorial of 5 so first instance of fact will be called from main method so fact of 5 will be pushed onto the stack memory stack so don't, don't get confused with all those things just concentrate on the things i'm showing you so 5 is positive so the code inside if block 
gets executed let me copy this code and paste it here let me replace the value of num by the value of num which is 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4 so this is recursive call once again we are calling fact and passing 4 as num so before that let me write the new value of num here or else you will get confused so num is 4 now so 4 is positive so this line of code gets executed let me substitute the value of num now 4 minus 1 is 3 so again recursive call gets executed fact of 3 so the new value of num is 3 so 3 is positive once again so the code inside if block gets executed replace the value of num by value of num so 3 minus 1 is 2 again this function is called recursively the new value of num is 2 now so since 2 is not 0 again the code inside if block gets executed once again let me replace the value of num by 2 so once again 2 minus 1 is 1 so again recursive call this time the num value is 1 so again 1 is not 0 so code inside if block gets executed once again once again the recursive call let me substitute the value of num by 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so the new value is new value of num is 0 again recursive call that is fact of 0 this time num is 0 so else block gets executed that is 0 factorial is 1 so it returns 1 to the calling function so the calling function is fact of 0 so our program returns the control back to fact of 0 and returns the value that is 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 so this value is returned to the calling function which is fact of 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 this value will be returned to the calling function in the stack so 2 is replaced here so 3 into 2 is 6 so this value is returned to the calling function so this will be replaced 6 into 4 is 24 so this value is replaced and returned to the calling function which is fact of 4 so 5 into 24 is 120 you can check that using your calculator I'll just show it to you so 5 into 24 is 120 so this is the factorial of 5 we can write as 5 factorial is equal to 120 that's what we will return to the main function and it gets printed inside main function so hope you understood this we have explained this once again in detail on our blog so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video without fail okay let me execute it once again i'll give 5 so 5 factorial is 120 let's check for 6 factorial which is 720 and it's working so let me finish this program by writing prototype okay that com that completes the program we can leave it as it is but i prefer to writing prototype to make it look standard and make sure the people who are reading this understand it okay so this is function call this is function prototype and this one is function definition okay save this let me compile it and run it once again and check if it's working so i'll give seven so seven factorial is five zero four zero and it's working one more thing some of you asked to write the code in one line so we could do that by using ternary operator or conditional operator let me show you how it works okay let me return let me write a single statement inside return okay i'll write the format first so i'll use num in the condition so this is like if condition num is greater than zero in that condition i can write in else condition i'll return one so if it's true that is num is greater than zero if that's true then i'll return this if it's false i'll return one the same thing using ternary operator so that's it single line of code using ternary operator okay let me compile and run this program and see if it's working properly so factorial of 5 is 120 which is 
correct so factorial of 6 is 720 we know that and it's working so that's it so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends on your whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you